What's up guys? Welcome back to the Cyber Union where we aim to bring a different perspective to the world of cybersecurity and help beginners grow into their dream job. In this video we're going to discuss a few different things and we're going to take a look at the most popular post exploitation tools for privilege escalation and exploit suggestors as well. We're going to discuss the pros and cons of each of these tools in this video and what data they will provide you during your next hack session. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Our first tool is Windows Privilege Check by Pentest Monkey. These guys are actually a great resource for web shells and cheat sheets. Definitely check them out. I'll make sure to add a link below in the notes. Um, same with all these other tools that are coming up. Check them out as well. This tool runs really smooth and provides an output file by default, which not all the tools do. Uh, as you can see, as the tool runs, it is doing quite a bit of work for you. Looking at the results, the tool provides output from an assessment point of view. It tells you some details about the issues and then how to fix the issue. Uh, not the sexiest thing for a pen tester by any means, but there is some good info in that output. I would say the biggest drawback from this is that the info is not ranked by criticality, so you would need to dig through, uh, in this case, over a thousand lines of text to find something worth pursuing. Certainly good info if you need to add findings to a pen test report, but I think I would choose to use something else uh, if I were going to do CTS and work in the OSCP labs. Moving on to our next tool, Windows Exploit Suggester by Aeon Cyber Labs. This is a pretty good one too, too uh, but note before I'm running this information, I had to do a sysinfo with my shell that I already had and then pull down that information for this tool. Now right now I just need to update it before I can actually run it, uh, which I'm gonna do right now for you. So the output you're gonna see is really solid and easy to read. It even gives you links to the exploit and tells you if one is available in Metasploit. Really not too bad and easy to work with. The only downside is that the data comes from looking at the patch level. Obviously this is an issue uh, because the info isn't really that accurate because it doesn't take into effect any of the mitigative steps admins may have taken on the host. Still not a bad first place to start especially in a CTF or in the OSCP labs itself. If you do good post-exploitation enumeration, you should be able to weed out some of the false positives and pursue the more likely routes instead. As you know, there is similar functionality built into Metasploit. Uh, so if you have a shell with Metasploit, just go ahead and try that one as well. Just be aware that I have seen some differences between the two outputs. Beroot is our third tool by Alessandro Z, and boy is it fast. Uh, it's way faster than any of these other tools we've looked at so far. The creators of Puppy have integrated it into their fileless framework, so if you're into those styles uh, of attack, go ahead and try it out. This tool you upload to the host and execute, uh, a little bit different than the last one we saw. Like some of the others though, it will provide configurations and issues from the context of the user you actually run it from. Tons of data here, but the creator has added sections that you can quickly jump into uh, if you're looking at them via text editor. Some of those sections are service, startup keys, task scheduler, all in all, a good tool with some great output. You will need to be familiar with using the techniques that utilize the specific output here, as this tool doesn't hold your hand like Exploit Suggester does. So don't expect it to point out specific uh, proof of concepts or specific Metasploit modules. Our final tool in our lineup today is JAWS, which stands for just another Windows Enum script. I actually really, really like this tool uh, and consider it the best out of all these options that I've presented to you uh, because it not only pulls useful data for the pen tester, but it pulls Windows artifacts as well, such as recent documents. This particular example is, a, is great because recent documents would be something of interest to me in a real pen test. When you go through the tool's output, be prepared to be amazed. Really, 
it grabs everything that you learn to grab when learning post-exploitation enumeration. Network configs, tasks, active connections, firewalls, processes, you name it, it's probably gonna be in there. As you can tell, I'm fanboying on this a little bit. I really love this tool and I would say to my OSC peers, throw it at some systems in the labs yourself, give it a try because I bet you will love it. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I learned some new things myself and I hope you did as well. Try these tools out and let me know if you have any other favorites. I'd love to update this video later uh, in the future with some even better tools. Happy hacking and as always, like, share, subscribe and shoot me a message or comment if you need any of my help. See ya.